The dy dynamic range of hearing is basically that range of, of sound intensities over which the, the ear or the peripheral auditory system, as I like to say, um, can usefully encode sound. And it turns out that that dynamic range is so large that just quoting a number doesn't really drive the point home. So it's useful to, to, to think of an analogy. And so let's represent the range of energies um, in, the, say, the softest versus the loudest sound that we can um, um, usefully encode and make that equivalent to um, the weight of one mouse to something else. So if the quietest sound, if the energy in the quietest sound is equal to the weight of one mouse, what is it that corresponds to the loudest sound that we can hear? And it's useful, as I show here, to express the answer in elephants. So, but it turns out that, that the ratio from the quietest to the loudest sound is not just the weight of one mouse to one elephant. In fact, it's not even the weight of one mouse to two elephants, or to three elephants, or even to five elephants, or to 50 elephants, <laughs> or even to 500 elephants. It turns out that the ratio of the quietest to the loudest sound is equivalent to the ratio of one mouse to 20 million elephants. <laughs> it's a number which is so large that if you insist on stacking the elephants vertically like this, <laughs> you have to take into account the fact that gravity falls off with distance from the center of the Earth. And so this resulting tower of elephants is some 40,000 miles high. <laughs>